What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here, Bust Up For Sale. Through I want to show off. Don't forget that if you have something you want to submit for Lots of Lots, Bust Up For Sale, the picture submission videos, or any one of my videos in general, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. So the first bus we're taking a look at was submitted by Jalen. It's a 1992 Navistar International flat nose bus listed for 3500 bucks in Orlando. The description only says Navistar International flat nose bus for sale. 3500 or best offer. Take a look at the bus. We can see that this is a Ward Senator, one of my favorite Type Ds. I don't know what it is about it. I know it looks a little bit weird, but it I just I like it. Not as much as the All American though, the 80s All American. This bus most likely came from Kentucky. That's where most senators were. And we can also back that up by it having a black belt on there. Otherwise, jackknife door, everything else is just kind of faded off. Uh, it's seen better days, but yeah. Here's a look at the back of the bus. Notice we have arrow turn signals on there, as well as under storage and a side emergency door. And if you take a look in the background, we can also see a white Wayne and a bluebird. Yet another look at the back of the bus. We also have reflective tape surrounding the emergency exit. A look at the engine, and we can see that the driver's seat is pretty torn up there, and a far away view of that build plate. Obviously those were not the best pictures, I just don't think I've shown a senator off in this series yet, and they are also one of my favorite type D's, so kinda had to. It looked like the seats were still on the bus, obviously, you know, kinda hard to tell. Uh, no idea what the condition of the engine is, does it run, does it drive, the engine cover was completely off, so I assume that means that they were doing some pretty hardcore work to it. And with little to no information, 3500 bucks just seems too high. The second bus surprised me whenever I saw this. I'm surprised that it was already up for sale. It is a 2018 Lion Electric School Bus that sold for $23,000. The description says the bus is fully functional, 71 passengers with hydraulic brakes, but does not come with a charge cord. And the range is about 70 miles on a full charge, with just over 10,000 miles on it. Here's a look at the bus. It's a lion. There's nothing really crazy about it. I'm just, like I said, surprised that it's already up for sale. One thing I will point out on this bus, though, is that there are fog lights on there, which I don't think I've seen on a lion before, and uh, kind of add to the look a little bit. Here's a look from the back driver's side. Obvious California specs on here. The rear stop sign, side emergency door. We also have a TC2000RE in the background and blue rims on the bus. There's a look at the back of the bus. Again, a pretty typical Lion. Coming into the bus appears to be in pretty good condition, just normal wear and tear. Here's a look at the driver's area. Yet again, pretty stereotypical Lion. There's nothing real crazy here. And I believe that these buses didn't really have great visibility. You can see uh, just how many blind spots there are. Uh, just from this angle. Here's a look at the climate controls, screens in the buses, and we can also see the buttons for the gear selection. Yet again, the inside appears to be in pretty good condition. I love the blue in there. It really pops out and fits in well uh, with the exterior also being partly blue. And notice at the bottom of the picture, it looks like a little bit of the flooring was replaced. Here's a look to the back of the bus. All of the seats have seat belts built in. And a look at the build plates. As someone who is still optimistic about uh, electric buses uh, being the future, it you know, it saddens me a little bit to see this bus already being sold off. In the Q&A section of this listing, it was asked why the bus was removed if it only had just over 10,000 miles on it. And the seller said that the bus just won't operate well due to the length of their routes. And you know, I think stuff like this is just part of growing pains of the bus because until we get buses that are able to last longer than uh, 70, 80 miles, whatever it said, uh, it's just, it, it's not going to work real well, but it just takes time and this isn't going to happen overnight. I wonder if they do have any other electric vehicles and if they do, if they're going to get rid of those. But that's pretty much it. $23,000, that's a lot of money. 
Uh, I, I don't know what the price for an electric school bus is, especially one that's only five years old. All I can hope is that another school district bought this and will keep it for its intended use as a school bus. And last but not least, we are going to take a look at a 2004 Bluebird All-American. The description says it has a CAT 7.2 L6 diesel, the bus runs, and there are reports that the bus had a hot restart However, it can be driven anywhere with the understanding that hot restarts will take a few minutes. Take a look at this All-American from Charleston County School District. This is South Carolina, by the way. Uh, pretty interesting because it is an activity bus, a white activity bus with some blue on there, but we also have a stop sign on there. Notice we have AC vents in front of the under storage. We also have chrome rims that looks fantastic and a strobe light up top. Another interesting thing is that we have four ways on this bus. That's not something you really see on A3, so I think that was kind of interesting. Notice there are also arrow turn signals up front. And looking at the passenger side, we can see that this bus definitely needs a cleanup. It looks like it's been sitting for quite a while. Take a look at the back of the bus. We also have extra normal size turn signals that's a very weird option and last but not least the build plate with a manufacturing date of august 2003. the current bid is three thousand dollars with a couple days left if it stays pretty low uh we didn't see any pictures of the inside of the bus but i would imagine that it still has the seats in there and everything since it's coming directly from the school district if that's the case and the price stays low i think that this could be a perfect church bus or uh private usage bus but it all just depends on how high the bid goes and there you have it those are the three i wanted to show off and as always let me know in the comments below if you had to choose one of the buses and you had the time money resources whatever you would need to fix it up and make it your own which one would it be i think i would have to go with the senator like i said one of my favorite type d's and as interesting as the lion is uh it's just I, I, I want a senator. What the heck? Why not? But you can let me know your answer down in the comments below. And don't forget that if you have something you want to submit for lots of lots, bus stuff for sale, the picture submission form, or any one of my videos in general, you can throw that in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. And with that, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down in here where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or all the senators are going to be gone. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.